हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति देश पांडे टीचर टूडे आई बी कवरिंग वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एट स्टैंडर्ड स्कॉलरशिप मैथमेटिक्स सेक्शन द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज आइडेंटिटीज एंड एज दिस टॉपिक इज बेस्ड ऑन फॉर्म्यूले इट इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन आर गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड सो योर जॉब इज टू लर्न दोज आइडेंटिटीज not many hardly 20 are there so please i request all of you to read and memorize understand and memorize don't do anything mechanically that won't help okay so if you know the identities your job is very very easy marks are surely going to be in your pocket okay chal aage badhte hain first sum i have written here we need to simplify this first we will concentrate on the numerator see numerator i am writing here okay so this is upon 1 this is upon 1 so we cannot add anything unless and until we make this equal to 4 so let's do it into 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 So our new numbers are four plus four upon four plus x upon four plus x square upon four. Now we can merge them or bring them together. Four plus x plus x square upon four. This is our numerator. Now let's go to the denominator. This was numerator. Denominator is here. One minus x square upon four. Same way here. Into four into four, so four minus x square upon four, right? Now let's write this in this format: numerator divided by denominator. Instead of writing upon, I'm doing divided by, and whatever is the value of this, I've written here, right? Now nothing happens in division so we need to convert this into multiplication how can we do that by writing the reciprocal of this now this 4 4 gone now here students here and here if you don't know the identities you won't be able to proceed believe me so if you want marks you have to memorize those identities see this is a expansion of 2 plus x the whole square, and this is the expansion of 2 minus x and 2 plus x. Then this square के बजाय I am writing it like this: 2 times 2 plus x. That will be easy for you to understand. This is two plus x the whole square, right? So I have written it in the form of factors. So this one has gone with this. So what is remaining? Two plus x on top, two minus x down. This is our answer. Very very easy. Very very easy. Don't get confused because upon and then again upon, then again upon. Don't get confused. If you want, you can concentrate on numerator. then denominator then you write in this way and then convert into multiplication and then factors so simple right chal aage badhte hain so next sum is which of the following are the factors of 81 n raised to 4 minus 625 basically we need to find out the factors of this chal aage badhte hain see whenever there is minus there is a scope to find out factors remember that one thing and if this is a square of something and this is a square of something yes definitely we can find out the factors this is a square of what 9n square square this is a square of 9n square that's why i have written it like this a 9n square square which is equal to 81n raised to 4 minus this is a Square of twenty-five. So I have written it like that. Here identity I will be using is this a square minus b square. The factors are a plus b, a minus b. 
this is very important identity many times this is used so how to find out the factors 9n square plus 25 and 9n square minus 25 right now plus is okay done but whenever there is minus you have to keep track whether this is square still a square of something still this is the square of something if the answer is yes then you have to find out further factors of this this will remain same so 9n square plus 25 this is a square of 3n whole square minus 5 so what are the factors of this again i am using that identity 3n plus 5 and 3n minus 5 these are the factors of this please be careful students because this is a square of 9 n square because n 4 a so n square so we found out this and this is 25 25 again is a square of 5 so we can't stop there and even 9 is a square of 3 n square is a square of n so we did further factorization so please be careful here this identity pakka dhyan mein rakho please okay chalo aage badhte hain see the next sum i have written on the board here so first i need to concentrate on this numerator make a group of 2 2 1 plus a and b plus ab why because i cannot cancel this 1 plus a with this 1 plus a no because there is plus here if this would have been into multiplication then i could have done but now abhi kar nahi sakti kyunki plus hai idhar please be careful huh? okay so hum hame iska factor nikalna hai kaise ओके वन एंड ए में से कुछ कॉमन है नहीं तो वन कॉमन निकलते हैं अंदर वन प्लस ए ऐसे सी आई हैव मेड अ ग्रुप ऑफ दिस एंड दिस सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट कॉमन इन दिस एंड कॉमन इन दिस इसमें क्या कॉमन निकल रहा है बी सो अंदर क्या बचेगा ये बी निकल गया तो वन डोंट राइट जीरो इट इज बी इन टू वन बी ओके सो वन प्लस इधर ए बचेगा नीचे वन प्लस ए सेम नाउ वन प्लस ए वन प्लस ए कॉमन सो वन प्लस ए हियर व्हाट विल रिमेन वन प्लस बी अपॉन वन प्लस ए विल रिमेन एज इट इज नाउ वी कैन रिमूव दिस एंड आंसर इज वन प्लस बी दिस लुक्स वेरी इजी but there are probability of making mistakes many many chances of making mistakes please be careful okay let's go ahead students if this is a perfect square then find the value of b when they are saying this is a perfect square this is a expansion of some square they have used some identity here See, this is a square, and this is also a square. So this may be the expansion, or it is the expansion of this a plus b, the whole square. That is a square plus two ab plus b square. They have used this identity. Okay. So how to find out? So middle term is not known. This they have given. This also they have given. First and third. Two ab they have not given. properly because b is there so what is 2ab that we will find out what, what is the square root of this 2x what is the square root of this 3y okay so middle uh, term is 2ab that is 2 into a into b that is 3y so this is 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 12 xy right so 12xy is equal to i am writing it here 12xy which is a middle term they have given it as b minus 1xy xy xy we can just remove so 12 is equal to 
b minus 1 therefore 12 plus 1 is equal to b that is 13 so value of b is 13 so easy isn't it let's go ahead students see this they have given a plus b the whole square is equal to 289 a minus b the whole square is equal to 121 then a square minus b square is equal to what see here you are expected to know this identity if you don't know the factors of this identity then you won't be able to proceed so what are the factors i told you this particular identity is very often used so you must know okay so factors of this identity are a plus b a minus b so can we get see we need to find out the value of this can we get the value of this from this observe a plus b the whole square is 289 that is 17 square this is 11 square so a plus b must be 17 if a plus b the whole square is 17 square so a plus b must be 17 and a minus b must be 11 so can't we substitute this here of course we can a plus b is 17 into a minus b is 11 so multiplication is 187 so our answer is a square minus b square is equal to 187 next one this particular sum is very often asked similar sums okay because this is the sum which out of 10 at least 5 students cannot attend. I don't know why. This is actually a very very interesting sum. See students whatever has been provided to you it is the helping hand. We have to use whatever is given to us to find out whatever is asked to us. Okay. So let's go ahead. A plus B diya hai, A B diya hai. A plus B, sorry, A minus B diya hai, A B diya hai, A plus B, hume find out karna hai. Okay. So our job is convert this into this. How can we do that? There is identity again. This minus plus 4 AB. This plus 4 AB is same as this. If you don't know this, you won't be able to proceed. Right? So, this is ready made in your book. Memorize them students. It will be really helpful at the time of examination. A minus B the whole square. A minus B they have given 7. So, actually they are telling us to find out A plus B. So, we are doing the square of that. But we do not have the value of this. So, we are converting this into A minus B the whole square plus 4AB. The value is same. Meaning is same. Okay. So, why are we doing this? Because we have the values of this given here. Okay. So, 7 square plus 4 into AB is how much? 23.75. So, this is 49 plus this is, you do the multiplication properly, it is 95. So, addition is 144. So, that is equal to A plus B the whole square, right? This is same as this and we have found out the value of this as 144, means this is 144. So, we have written here. So, A plus B is how much? 12 because this is 12 square, right? So, they had asked this. So, value of this is 12 here. I told you whatever numerical values they have given, we have to make use of them to find out whatever is asked. So, that that's why sometimes we have to form a relationship between these two. And that can be done with the help of identities. Okay. Very very interesting sum isn't it. Again I am telling you students identities is such a topic which is based on formulae. They are clearly given whichever you, book you refer it will be given in that book. Okay. So memorize them and practice them how to use. Okay. 
very very simple identities are there so questions are going to be very very straightforward okay students with this we are through with this identities in case you have any queries doubts you can mention them in the comment section i will definitely try to answer them and students if you enjoy my videos then you all know but still i am telling you please share them with more and more students and in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so and i will come with the next video very very soon till then study well and very important thing is correct enjoy studying bye